the last Squad Busters beta, we entirely beat the game. Squad Busters got reworked, and it is back again with improvements for only seven days. So let's see if we can beat it entirely again. But first, we gotta see what's new. Checking out the tutorial. It looks, quite frankly, the same. But I know they changed some stuff. Like, look at this already. It's already telling me to get three barbarians, dude. Saw this coming. They did add some voice lines, by the way, too. Oh, and that's such a good quality life change, too. You just have sprint all right at the start. I didn't even realize that. Definitely a lot frequenter chests. Free spawn like crazy. What the heck, dude? The gameplay just feels a lot faster. Oh, get on. Oh my gosh. He dropped a lot. Okay, I just noticed the another. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at these epic chests. So I want to see what other troops they made into this game. I just want the chest. Oh, we got Ryan as the voice actor too. You hear that? Okay, Fusion's OP. Ryan voice lines OP. They have the desert world, but now they have the royal world. Who can we get here? Mavis. Okay. Heyday. I didn't. I honestly haven't played too much Heyday. The Trader. Is this from Everdale? Or is it, no, this is from Clash of Clans, all right? We got the wizard in here. That's cool. Oh, we got Thick Mama Pam. <laughs> She's got that Chad doll. I'm dude. Oh, they got the Royal King. That's cool. Then we got Mortis. Let's go. So for sure, goal, get all these characters and we want to test them out, man. But we literally only have seven days. Our first unlock. Dude, that's another new thing. Modifiers. So this one is Gem Overlord, where everything drops gems. So these drop gems, right? Oh my gosh, they do. Dude, this is so good for the gem quest, though. So this is actually like really good. Oh my gosh. Getting those gems, one for quests, but also it's going to help you actually level up so much faster. Okay. How many quests do we get? It just keeps unloading right at the start. Okay, good. We got the goblin. He got reworked a little. Give seven coins instantly, bust 10 foes for four more. What does this fusion do? Just gives more coins more often. Okay. All right, there's a new fusion. It got me a, a fusion goblin and it just gave me a ton of coins. Gold will help me progress on the tiers faster. So this could be a good cheese way to get characters faster. That, is, that was more interesting modifier. The goblins, though, like Look, strong early time. game. Gem filled giant trees are roaming the map. Oh, so they want you to have Greg. Okay, we have a large Greg. He one shots trees. So I one shot a big tree. No, there's so much going on. This. There's golems, there's giant trees. Nobody can do anything. Of course, this little guy wants to steal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Target the weak one. Two giant trees in the middle. Oh, we're out. Let's take care of the giant tree and then you win. That's a new thing. Just complete quest to unlock Nita and the king on day seven. So we need to complete four more. I shouldn't have waited so long to play because it's almost 12 a.m. my time. <laughs> All right, but we have the chicken. Let's go. It was two turbo and turbo's last 20% longer. Chicken was like the worst unit in the last one. Only have star boost now at level three and there's seven levels now instead of just five all the modifiers look how much i still have to find they added more spells too four more do, 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 do. gold monsters okay well it's a gold skeleton what the heck happens here more gold out of them i think dude that's a lot of gold okay oh dude my chicken's gonna die my chicken did die <laughs> I couldn't even level them up. Yeah, guys, I still think Chicken's probably like the worst unit in the game. Like, you don't really need the speed from him anymore because you have the speed boost like at all times. Full Dragon do be looking cool, though. Dude, that's so much gold. Oh, my gosh. Well, you're seeing it now. The Fusion Chicken, the Master Chicken. Oh, no, I gotta run. At least I can run forever now with my chicken. You ain't catching me, bro. We're just gonna unlock the Barbarian King right now, dude. Melee units attack even faster when he's fused. Okay. There we go. Using the Barbarian King. Throw everything in the middle. Plays. Let's try this dragon. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we've completed our quest. And that gives us the witch. Let's go, dude. Summon skeletons repeatedly. Summons even more skeletons even faster when you fuse her. Yeah, basically the archer queen replaces the heavy, who is now the ranged buff attacker. Okay. I mean, queen's more iconic than the heavy, but they did him dirty. Hey, our first special loot, we get a hammer. And that allows me to build a barbarian statue. And it gave me tickets. Tickets are used for skin still. So that's cool. They even got spike in here. Oh, that's a oh, that's a cool addition. Alright, we run middle. Nine. Let's go. 
So fighting is definitely more rewarding at the end because when you kill a singular unit, it drops a percentage of their gems now. Not just a couple. There. Oh my gosh. It is so satisfying when you actually kill someone. Gosh, there's so Four, many gems exchanging three, hands two. here. Okay, I'm not really behind, but... Molly's not anymore. Let's All right, we got first. Let's go. On day two, we played a bit more and got to the desert world, which unlocked dynamite and bow. On day three, we were continuing the grind. However, I wasn't able to record this day because I was traveling for a tribe video, but to make up for it, I saved my rewards and I'll show you them tomorrow. We saved up a lot of our tears here. So we're getting Shelly right away on day four. Quest for Nita. Let's go. But what's really cool is they gave us free offers in the shop because at the end of this, progress is getting reset for everyone. 100 unlock orbs, 75,000 in coins. Jeez, man, that's insane. That was a lot of tickets. Oh, we had Tuxedo. Nice. And Ninja Mix Pack. Hello. 150 unlock orbs. Level up Bo. Level up Nita. Dino with our gold they've given us. Big Shelly coming in. Making the bot go the other way. Running away. So scared of us. All right, big kills. This guy wants to fight. What up, bro? Nope. Fight this guy. I mean, I was running away majority of the time, so I couldn't really tell, but I'm happy I have Shelly and Nita. <laughs> 150 unlock orbs. Let's just unlock some characters now, man. For sure, get B. Find a hive to get 3B circling. For sure, get max. Boost squad speed by 25% by busting foes. I'm gonna save my unlock orbs until we get to the royal world. Epic overload, and we have B and max that we can get. Okay, there we get B, and then we get max. Max, whenever we get a kill, it boosts our team speed by 25%. That's a lot. But double max, let's go. Look at that speed, dude. We're going for big max. Let's go. Now that we have B, we can get the hive. Oh my gosh, this guy's getting wrecked. We, he, and we have Max. He can't go anywhere. Dude, the neat action. This is all Brawl Stars team basically right here. Dude, look how fast we go. No one can escape. Four, three, two, one. Dude, Max is crazy. Max is fusion boost squad speed even more. Yeah. And Bezos gets a hive with double the bees. And now with our new characters unlocked, I was on a roll of back to back first place finishes. Finish the box breaking quest. We got to do it again. <laughs> then I grinded my way through all of the quests for the day, which finished off day four. Day five, we started out making some character upgrades, continued grinding the quest until I got a brand new feature unlocked. The coin bank. Allows you find piggy banks in battle, redeem the piggy banks to get more coins. Okay. Just gives us free coins. Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh look at this middle right now what is going on and going to the middle at the end of the round is just so fun i love all the chaos and score swing and all it's just all over the place man we got two special loots there each time you get a special loot, we give you three thousand gold that's crazy better believe i'm upgrading colt with that dude i got 400 gems that was insane. One away from Royal World, bro. Day six. Last night we completed this quest. Gives us the gem or diamonds. We have reached the Royal World. Let's go. New battle modifiers. Okay. I saved my unlock orbs for this. Mortis is 60. Revives up to four busted monsters in the squad. Revives even more monsters at once when he's fused. And we also got to get wham, bam. Here comes thick Pam. Builds a heal station after opening a chest. Build bigger healer station when she's fused. So my extra 10, I'm actually going to get the medic too. Just like heal my troops chest menace is our new bonus mod what does that mean uh i like the look of the new map skeletons back as the default monster we've royal recruits on the map too oh sick so mortis is revives monsters on my team so you want to kill big monsters when you have mortis oh and we have pam so that just drops a heal station dude that's dirty look at that it even works on my bonus monsters yo there is a flipping mega knight imagine mortis revives that on your team What does this cauldron do? I don't know. It drops fire spirits. My squad is so big. Look at this. Full of monsters. It's got everything. Three, two, one. I got fourth, but that was wild. With finishing that quest, we have unlocked the trader. It gives two gems for every 10 coins you collect. That is, it seems like some niche uses. I'm just about to hit 20 coins. There you can do 
traders get you crazy gems fast. It's really, the trader's really good because of these pinatas. It's like a perfect mode to test them out in. The trader strat could be massive. I didn't even fight anyone. You get so many, and like, look how many you gems won. I got. Pick up coins. Another quest. Let's go. Fusion's done. Dude, this is what a gameplay looks like with Barb Kings. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're so fast. Look how quick they melt. Jeez, you just win every fight. And that got us our last quest of the day. Tomorrow we get Mavis. We gotta get these skins, man. There's so many tickets. Emo packs. This is the final day. We're close to that Royal King. We just need three more quests. We get Mavis. I've never played Haiti though. Right off the bat, we're gonna try Mavis. Picks carrots. She throws carrots too. Dude, he's got a big Mavis already? Level seven Mavis? This is good. I need gems. 900 gems quest. After that, we unlocked the hog rider finally and continued on our quest run, getting the Royal King and thus beating the game. Top three finish. Just a lot of upgrades. Quest done. Only one more quest to go. Get that trader upgraded. Use my freaking piggy banks. I didn't realize I had so many. Upgrade max for sure, dude. This could be the game we start with a fusion. Big mama Pam. Look at that healing turret. Let's heal up versus this freaking gem golem, bro. Get the barb king. This is a great start. Come on, take him out. Yes. I should win this. I'm in my healing station, bro. Why am I so slow? It's actually Nine, big brain that I did that. Because now I can get these seven, last few chests. Six, five, it's that I lost. Four, you see that? Three, Complete. Time. And then we still get six just because I wanted to get those chests at the end. Completed the quest. We get the Royal King. Look at that, dude. Deploys Royal Recruits after opening a chest. But we have to put that Royal King to the test first. Your Royal Recruits is with me. And they... Every time I open a chest? Is it every time? Bro, it's literally every time. Look at all these royal recruits. They don't follow me, though. Definitely helps you clear areas, though. Yo, if we kill this chest menace with my royal recruits. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Here, my royal recruits will help me just dodge to kill this Mega Knight. Kill it, 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 kill it. Steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it. Interesting strategy with the king. Look how many royal recruits and ghosts we have on the map, dude. If you get middle with the king, he's crazy. It's the last day, and technically it's the next day, so it's kind of day eight, but day seven still. We can get more skins, man. Give me that. Vintage Mortis. I like that. More emo packs. But the game is literally shutting down in like an hour, so I have to finish these last two quests. We're fighting this guy. And I just need to bust two more squads. This could be another bust. Hard to kill people, man. Yes, just need one more guy to kill. Just need to bust this guy. Come on. Battles disabled. Maintenance will break. Will happen soon. Well, we made a lot of progress. I physically could not get this wizard even through grinding. I got the king. I still beat the game. And we're placing Spike and the chicken. So we beat the game again. <laughs> Overall, I had 26 first place. Ton of top threes. 17,000 gems collected. Gee, 77 busted. And right there, the last you'll see of Squad Busters until its next beta. The beta has ended. What do you guys think of it?